What's up guys, Iovo here and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own custom clothing like this hoodie right here. It's very easy to do. So with that being said, be sure to smash that like button down below. Let's see if we can break 2000 likes for this video. And with that being said, let's get started. So before we go into the actual Spreadshirt site to make our shirt, we have to have some sort of a logo made. Now if you guys don't have a logo yet, I am going to be making a sample logo right now, just like the hoodie I showed you guys earlier on. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead, go to File, New, and create a new file. Now for this purpose, we're going to make a rectangle logo. It can be fairly large, we're going to make it 3500 by 1500 pixels. And for now, we'll leave the background as transparent, we're going to click OK and we have our logo which is going to fill up this entire rectangle. So as you guys saw earlier, it's just a very simple text logo. So the first thing we're going to do is actually just create a rectangle. Uh, we're going to make it a very dark gray, almost black. Click OK and just create a large rectangle that goes all the way across like so. And then we're going to create a new layer. So as you can see, we've already colored in the background and now we have to add the text. So we're going to select the text tool. We're going to click on this new layer, we're going to choose the font Kenzo and we're going to make it say Zyovo and I'm going to make it italic and we're going to make it a bit bigger so that it can actually span across the entire rectangle. Oh, that's too big. Okay, so that's the biggest we can go. Now, if you guys wanted to make it bigger, you can press Control T, hold Shift and still make it larger. So we're going to make it about that big. Now to center your logo, all you have to do is press Control A, make sure the text layer is selected, go to Layer, Align Layers to Selection, Vertical Centers, Layer, Align Layers to Selection, Horizontal Centers. Now once we have the text aligned, the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and make the actual text transparent. So when the design is printed on the shirt, instead of seeing the white text, you're going to see fabric, which is going to look really cool. So to do that, just press Control, Click on the text layer to select the text, go to the rectangle layer, go to layer, layer mask, hide selection, and then we can go back to the text layer and click on the eye logo to remove it so you don't see it. And as you can see, instead of white text, it is now transparent and our logo is complete. So go to file, save as, and save this image as a PNG. We're just going to save it as Iovo shirt logo. Now, once you do that, what you want to do is go on Spreadshirt.com, make an account, and then go to sell. Start selling now. Get started. Um, you can sign up to open a shop or you can just upload it straight to the marketplace. So we're going to make a shop. We're going to go to open shop. We're going to agree, click send and it's going to open our own shop. So once we are in the store, we can upload our logo by going to My Designs or Upload Designs. So we're going to go on Upload Designs. And from here, we can select our logo. We're going to click right here. We saved it as Ziovo Store or Ziovo Shirt logo. It's going to upload. We're going to confirm it's ours. We'll describe the design. Um, Ziovo logo. Uh, logo. Design. There we go. We're going to submit our design. And once our design has uploaded, we can create a product with it. Or you can go over here and go to my products and create a new product. And once we are on the product page, it's actually very easy to use. All you have to do is choose what product you want. And they have a ton of different options. So for this example, we're going to be making just your basic t-shirt once it loads up. We're going to make it Heather Gray. And as you can see, we've already sized it so that it fits on the shirt. We can also move it up or down, or we can resize it to make it bigger and smaller. So we can use this to make it smaller, for example, and then we can drag it up or down. And as you can see, the price is right here. You can also choose a bunch of different products over here. We've already chose our design, but if we had other designs we wanted to add, we could just go over here and add them. We can also add text, which I wouldn't recommend personally, because having a design is much nicer. We can also upload photos. And once we are done, all you have to do is click on create to create your own custom apparel for your shop. And then we can go into designs and products. And 
we can go to my products and as you can see our shirt is right here we can add it to the marketplace or to our shop so we're going to add it to our shop now this is not my actual shop so don't buy anything here but once it's on our shop you can actually just have it so people can actually buy it and you can buy it yourself by just clicking on the buy button but that's about it for this video guys as you can see it's very simple so hopefully you did enjoy it if you did be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and as always thanks for watching my name is iovo and i'm signing out Thank you.